The MonsterVerse is no stranger to bizarre, wild creatures and titans. Godzilla Kong The New Empire is sure to add a massive influx of new species into the titan roster of this universe. And now, thanks to Godzilla X Kong The Hunted, a brand new official MonsterVerse graphic novel story that serves as a prequel to The New Empire, we have yet another titan to analyze. This is The Spine Prowler. A lot of fans, including myself, have been pleading for more titans with mammal qualities. And right on time, we have this new big cat inspired titan. In this video, we are going to inspect the beast, detailing its unique monster design and ferocious attitude, and figure out where this titan ranks amidst its counterparts in four categories. Speed, size, power, and intelligence. And if you're looking for more MonsterVerse lore, well I got good news for you guys, I'm making a video on The Hunted very soon, which gives us an insight into what Kong's been up to since he's been down in the Hollow Earth. So think of this as a little hype video for that, so make sure and subscribe and leave this video a like if you want more MonsterVerse lore videos. Residents, this is Jacob, welcome to Dangerville, let's get to it. Let's get straight into the juicy official creature profile given to us by Monarch. The agile feline superspecies designated Spine Prowler is one of the most ferocious predators encountered in the epicentral forest regions of the Hollow Earth. Lean and agile for its huge size, it is capable of traversal speeds beyond many of the other superspecies in its body class. Aided by a skeletal structure of porous bone, which is both resistant to breaking and aerated for speed. The creature takes its name from the prominent series of spinal vertebrae that emerge through blowhole-like apertures in the creature's flesh and fur, running all the way down its back and tail, giving the spine prowler the ability to deliver devastating bone shard attacks, while stampeding with its head down and shoulders raised, ramming into opponents like a serrated bulldozer. The creature's lithe physiology and bone sharp hook claws enable the spine prowler to not just run at incredible speeds, but climb cliff walls gaining the height advantage they need to stalk their prey. There are few more spectacular sights in all of creation than seeing a fully grown spine prowler perform an airborne attack. A fiercely protective, nurturing species, the apex females will fight tooth and claw, literally, to protect their young, although a brood of spine crawler cubs are more than capable of defending themselves and their territory. And here's the super species statistics. We have Monarch's official naming of the beast right there, the spine prowler. It's classified as an Osis Predator, and I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really know what that means. The size of this creature has yet to be revealed, although it appears to be a fourth of the size of Kong currently in the Hollow Earth. And when it comes to the behavior of this Titan, Monarch classifies them as destroyers, meaning they will kill you if they see you. Now within the hunted story, we actually see the Titan hunting Kong. After the big ape gets control of the situation after being ambushed, he's able to drive the spine prowler off, which unfortunately leads to this individual being hunted and captured by humans, to then be brought back to a testing facility to be used as practice for this new big giant mech that's been created, to be able to fight and kill other titans. And after killing this one spine prowler, the man then goes down to the hollow earth and attempts to kill a mother and her cubs. And I'll let you guys all know about how that plays out in my upcoming lore video on The Hunted. So if you haven't already, hit the bell down beside the subscribe button so you know when that video comes out. Now let's take a more in-depth look into this creature's design, starting with its concept art. We can see that originally more exotic colors were experimented with. And it seems that at one point in time that a mane was in question for this creature's design. After some time, the creators chose to go with a more neutral, natural look and stay away from the crazy blue and green colorations. They then experimented with a variety of different tails, paws, manes, and even a triceratops-like crown. I mean, look at this design right here. He literally has an arm coming out of his butt. But eventually, they narrowed it down to what would be the final look for the creature, and I have to say, they did a good job getting it to this level. What do you think? And now the final design for the Spine Prowler elected to go with what I'm calling a big cat-inspired design. Now, the big cats in our real world would be like lions, leopards, tigers, and for the Spine Prowler's influence, at least my prediction, a cheetah and a mountain lion. Those are at least the two species of big cat that I see with the Spine Prowler's design. Long legs and a slender, sinewy body. 
and with its fur we see all members of this species shown in the comic having blonde, tan, orange, or red colors, with faint dark markings. This is just like our real world predators. It helps camouflage the prowler into its natural environment, so it can utilize its primary skill set against its prey stealth and surprise attacks, which even the Mighty Kong was unaware of until the feline titan was already on him. Although not everything about the spine prowler is based on the big cats. The creature's spine and tail are covered with these barbed-like protrusions that you heard about earlier, and its front paws are not really paws at all, appearing more human-like than cat. And what is most obviously and drastically crazy with its design, its bizarre jaws and skull. The Spine Prowler has a face that, well, is truly hard to explain. It has a mouth that opens well beyond most mammal ranges, and the teeth are ginormous, looking like giant daggers. What makes the face of the Prowler odd, though, is how it's smushed in. There is practically zero snout in existence on this beast, and the lack of an upper lip makes it seem like the poor creature's face was ripped off, leaving this gaping abyss of teeth. Now this leads to the Titan having an unsettling appearance that when combined with its ferocious attitude, makes quite the imposing titan, even if it is from one of the lower tiers. But where exactly does the Spine Prowler rank amongst other titans? When it comes to speed, you heard it in the Monar profile. This is one of the fastest titans of its size in existence, clearly putting it towards the top in this category. In terms of size, it appears to be a fourth or a fifth of the size of Kong. So it's not huge, but if Kong was the size he was in Skull Island, well, let's just say this battle probably would have gone a lot different. There wouldn't have been no Godzilla vs. Kong. When it comes to sheer power, the creature's build doesn't really favor that category. Evolution gave this beast speed and agility, and to do something like that, you typically lose a lot of mass and therefore a lot of power. So the Spine Prowler is low in this category. Intelligence-wise, the Titan's mammal brain comes into play. I would place its intelligence below Kong's and possibly even Godzilla's, but higher up than most of the other lesser titans. So in terms of a pure rank, I place the Spine Prowler in the same section as the Skull Crawlers and Warbats, but surpassing both of those species. And this is due to the Spine Prowler's mammal qualities. But what truly allows the Prowler to be on top of the Warbat and Skull Crawler on this list is the fact that it clearly cares for its young. A powerful bond between a mother and her offspring is hard to compete against. And it's a major reason why mammals have surpassed our scaly friends in the real world as the dominant creatures lately. But what do you guys think about the Spine Prowler? Where do you rank it? Let me know down in the comments and share this video around if you think I earned it. Like I said everyone, I'm working on a full GXK The Hunted story breakdown, focusing on what Kong's been up to prior to his adventures in the new film, so stay tuned for that if you love MonsterVerse lore like I do. Everyone, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. This has been Jacob, and I will see you in the next one.